Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll break that down, not the whole lot, but I'll break a bit of it down or bits of it down that are maybe interesting and the bits that I think you could get something out of if you, if you learn them. But as you know, I'm into all this um, Julian Lage and Tobias Hoffman at the moment and I watched something on uh, YouTube the other day that just it blew me away and it's a complete departure from all this stuff I'm into. Um, I'll put a link to the video I'm talking about in the description because you've, you've probably already seen it. But what a, a palate cleanser this is. At the moment I'm into all my kind of, oh this wee half step rub and I put this wee cherry on top and, and then you watch this videos, Gary Moore and Scott Gorham. Black Rose and a couple of others you tagged on at the end. Bloody hell, he just punches you straight in the face. And I watched this this video uh, after watching all this, Julian Lage and Tobias, and as much as that's what I'm into at the moment, and that's where I'm trying to take my playing, what a refreshing thing it is to watch Gary Moore just suck it to you. 
incredible the volume and the power coming off that stage and the passion I actually got a lump in my throat I felt quite emotional in fact I do get quite emotional when I watch Gary Moore there's what he's one player that and Martin Offler of course that I find myself getting quite choked up sometimes just thinking of the I don't know what he has a something for me Gary Moore the way he plays anyway go watch that if you're sick of me talking about half step rubs and So we'll start with just, so that's just hoo-ha, I'm just playing stuff over the chord of E. But this next bit could be worth talking about. Little double stops, I'm on the 6th of the A, the 4th of the G, then down to the 2nd of the A, 1st of the G, then sliding up to the second of the G, fourth of the A. Then I get in that top thin unwound E string. So I'm really just going for the F sharp minor, but me trying to stick cherries on top, I like to get the, and lead with that dissonant note. I think a musician would call that a flat five. And then breathe out your misery with that little resolve. Then I'll create some tension again with the pinky or the ring finger to lead me up to the, the same thing two frets higher, A flat minor or G sharp minor if you're going to call it that, to then go to the A chord. I like to add cherries as you know. I'm getting that sound. Basically it's an A chord with this five note down, so it'll be a flat five I guess if you're into that kind of thing. pinky added on top to create that that sound that reminds me of people like Tobias and Julian. Then up to a C chord, but again in my pursuit of cherries on top. And then resolved. What that was, was Love Actually, that Wonderful film. Wonderful film. Because I'm a big soppy at heart. But what that is, do you, you recognise if you listen to the theme music that runs all the way through that film? I have stole two bits of it. And if you didn't recognise it, I'm kind of pleased because then I've managed to disguise them from you. But that sort of... Um, that's not Love Actually, but then going up three frets is from the theme tune of Love Actually. And that, that's Love Actually. What's the theme? If you type into Apple, Apple Music, and put in theme from Love Actually, I can't remember what it's called, but you can listen to the piano weaving along these chords and it's, it's pretty much that. And a wee major scale. Just suggesting the B chord again, the five chord, but via some sort of dissonant type vehicle that I'm doing. Just to create tension. Then I heard Martin Offer do that years ago. This, that, that lick there. He went. He actually does it as part of private investigations live, alchemy, I think, anyway. Beat just playing on a B7, there's a B7, but when you fuck about with that note there, you create flat fives or raised fives. I'm creating a raised five if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not really into that naming culture. I just play the stuff, man. And that dissonance, that half step rubs very Uncle Larry. Uh, Julian Lage, Tobias. Then I went back up to the five chord, the, the B chord. So all 
I'm doing there is B, B7, a diminished, resolving to the C sharp minor. Another diminished, and we know diminished connect chords to the next chord, right? So I'm just fretting the one, the five, and the major third of the B. I don't like saying these words because I'm really not into naming culture. It's just fucking put your fingers there kind of thing. I didn't mean to swear again. <laughs> As well, I don't do that in my day job in my driving and just put the fucking clutch down, you silly bitch. So I'm just B7 diminished, just the, the root of the changing, the minor, all very pretty. Then raise the tension by making it diminished again, then resolving to this one. F sharp minor. I had to think there, you can tell I'm not a, I'm not a real musician. Uh, that's how I did it. I plonked that note, bop, and then formed that little chord to allow me to run up it to make it look like I was a flash lead player. I'm just going up the chord, everything I do is cheating. Then I stole big time from Love Actually. Not in the way I'm playing it, I'm staccatoing and stuff like that. I'll try and play it like Love Actually. They did it in B minor, so excuse the quick key change. They imagine somebody on the piano doing this. And So that's all that was. I was going in. Just finding my own way to play it. Just A, whoops. Same chord as Love actually, but I'm playing it in a different way that departs really from their sort of thing. That's just a, an F sharp with the the top, with the, it's like a convertible F sharp. The roof's off. If this is the roof, the top, that's just off. And you can add parts of the roof back on. Then I played the augmented. See? That's what I'm forming. little shape from one of Tobias's recent things. He does something like this. Because he's awesome. But anyway, I didn't I try how can I get that in without getting it in and stealing it? So I just went and just walking my first finger up that A string. The easiest lick for maximum benefit and then an F sharp minor. Just forming the bottom half of an F sharp minor. I'm just playing with it. A B7 or B9. That's just me fucking around here. In other words, my B, my B9. And a Robin Ford chord, he does things like this. Because he's Robin Ford. But I'm just Paul Cook. So I'll be nine, and then just, it helps to slide it to give that jazzy, arch top kind of sound. And it's just a B7. 
with this on, what is that? That makes it a 6, I suppose. A B7 with a 6. Does that make it a 13? I think that makes it... Who cares? We don't do naming colours here on the Post Africa YouTube channel. And that's just B9, but with a pinky up on, up one fret, covering just that little thin string. So, it's a great like that. And then resolve to E. But then immediately back to B. And you know me and my diminished. To Julian Lage, he sometimes plays stuff and just goes completely mental, but just in the tiniest blip of a moment, and it's like it reminds me of a computer having a malfunction or something and spitting out a lot of garbage. But he does it so effectively, he'll play this beautiful thing and then go, obviously, not that, but something of that kind of approach, and you think. And then you go back to beautiful again. And you think, what was that? So you rewind, what the hell? And it's, do you think it's crap? Or do you think, I think it's amazing. So this is me, my creation of a Julian Lage kind of lick. I think of it. So that part's just diminished. Nothing wrong there. Yeah. Little bends. But then, I did this. my way of capturing Julian's little essence there in that type of moment and then it goes back to something that makes sense so, just an... so all that is, is I just made it up it's basically this I think I start off doing this but I don't do it on the on the same string so there's my E there's my E flat there's my D Right, so you get, I'm starting off, whoa, where are you going? That's just, it doesn't sound like, because it's all over the, for the place. Clever, eh? Pat Metheny does stuff like this, apparently. So you can copy that if you want, but what's the point? You're better making up your own little bit if you like that kind of thing. And then I think I went, um, Again, just the type of thing that Julian Lage would do. If you like this kind of thing, fast forward this bit if you hate this bit. Then down three frets, or two frets, three frets, then three frets again, and then play something pretty. Something like that. 
pretty much what I did. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Now go and cleanse your palate and watch some Gary Moore and Scott Gorham. You won't regret it. And I will see you in the next video. It's me and my favourite guitar signing out. Bye for now.